Okay, let's try a few more of these problems, identifying the lowest common denominator first. So step one, lowest common denominator, LCD of this one would be, you already said it, yes, x minus 3, x plus 3. How did you know that, by the way? Where did you get, where did you come up with that? Ah, yes, I love that. So you factored the denominator here. That means that this is actually equal to that, right? Now, what do I need to give this one so that it will have the same denominator? I'm going to give it all of x minus 3, right? x minus 3 over x minus 3. x minus 3 plus or times 1 is x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now, should I go ahead and reduce that? Should I cancel that out? No. Why wouldn't I want to cancel it? Why wouldn't I want to reduce it? Right. The whole point is I put it there in order to have a common denominator, right? So then here I have plus 6 over, and you can write it either way. You can write it factored or um, foiled, but it's easier to see that it's a common denominator if you leave it factored. Okay, now we're adding those things together, and so we get x plus 3, correct? Over, what's the denominator? Okay, can you reduce it now? Why do we want to reduce it now in the end? And I didn't want to, I didn't want to reduce it here because I wanted a common denominator. Now I do want to reduce it because I have my final answer, right? And so if I reduce, what do I get? These cancel. 1 over x minus 3. And then we put x cannot equal what? It's actually negative 3. You can't use 3 here, but we're, we, we, we don't actually include that in the restriction on the domain, even though we know if we were saying what is the domain, we would include that. Here, we just include the negative 3 because of the, the reducing, okay? Because we canceled it out. All right, let's go to F, and here, are these the exact same thing? No. Is there a way to make them exactly the same? What would you have to do? Yeah, you would, well, you could factor out the negative. See, if I have 3 minus x, remember that's the same thing as negative x plus 3. If we factor out a negative, we get x minus 3. And now it would be a match. Now, when it comes to fractions, if I have a negative fraction, negative a over b, what part of that fraction is negative? The numerator, the denominator, or both? Either the numerator or the denominator, but not both, okay? Because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So what I would do here is if you factor out the negative, you could have 6 over x minus 3 plus negative 8 over x minus 3. How did I do that just now? Do you see what I did? I factored out the negative from here, right? And instead of leaving it with the denominator, I gave it to the numerator. I could do that. Yes, if, it, if it's basically exact match, except for the signs, you can factor out the negative. I gave the negative to the numerator, so now I have a common denominator. I didn't even hardly have to make that much of a change. So here I have 6 plus negative 8, which is negative 2 over x minus 3. If it, if it had a different sign, you mean? Well, actually, what would be even more fancy is if that was a negative, it, let's, say, let's say the problem was 6 minus 8 over x minus 3x or 3 minus x. What I could have done there is turned it into 6 over x minus 3. Factor out the negative. What's a negative negative? And that would have become x minus 3, if that had been a different example, you know, not to confuse you. That's a different problem. But 
if it had been subtract instead of add, you could have done the negative, negative, cancel each other out. Okay. Oh, yes, x plus 3, x plus 3 is equal to 3 plus x, yes. That one is um, just a matter of the order, but it's it doesn't have really to do with the sign, right? So the difference here is that these are the same numbers and variables, but the signs are opposite of each other. So that's the idea of factoring out a negative. Okay, let's go ahead and look at g now. So what's the... Um, What's going on with the, we have to find, what do we do first? What do we do first? We find the LCD. And what would be the LCD? Yeah, so here, if you factor this, you would factor out, what, well, how would you factor that? X times X minus 3. So notice, that one is factored, so we start with factoring that. And we have... Um, so that's actually the LCD because you see how it includes the X and it includes the X minus 3. So what is this fraction missing that the other one has? It needs an X minus 3, right? Okay, so here we have X squared plus 15 over X times X minus 3 minus, I'm going to put these in parentheses, X minus 5 times x minus 3. Do you see why I would want to put that in parentheses, the x minus 5? What am I going to have to do in order to um, combine like terms? Now that I have a common denominator, I can add the numerators. In order to add the numerators, what do you think I'm going to have to do to that second fraction? I'm going to have to FOIL, yes. I'm going to have to distribute or FOIL. So I have x squared plus 15 minus, and I'm going to use the whole parentheses. I'm going to keep the whole thing in parentheses when I FOIL it out because eventually I'm going to have to distribute that negative sign. So I get x squared minus 8x plus 15. That's my FOIL really fast. I just added them, right, and multiplied them. And then this is all over the common denominator. I'm just going to write the common denominator once because, oops. Okay. Now, if I distribute the negative, it changes the sign of everything. So I'm going to have x squared plus 15 minus x squared. And then what? Yes, plus 8x minus 15 over x times x minus 3. And now what do I get if I simplify that numerator? I have some like terms, don't I? So what's the only thing left? It looks like x squared cancels with x squared. x squared minus x squared is nothing, right? 15 minus 15, that's 0. So I have 8x over x times x minus 3. That will reduce down to, can anything reduce? What do you think? The x's. The x's reduce because x divided by x is just 1. So I have 8 over x minus 3. And what should x not equal? 0. Because of canceling out those x's, if I were to use 0, I would get 0 in the denominator. But that canceled. So we retain that restriction on the domain. Okay, what about a number like this, minus 2? It doesn't have a denominator, or what is the denominator? The denominator is 1, so this is over 1. What's the LCD, then, of these two fractions? x plus 3. So I need to give this one an x plus 3 over an x plus 3. So we have x plus 2 over x plus 3 minus 2 times x plus 3 over x plus 3. What should I do next? Yeah, I don't really have to FOIL. I do need to distribute, right? Because FOIL would be a binomial times a binomial. But notice I'm, I'm actually purposely giving that negative to the 2 because I have to distribute. I have to make, basically make sure that I distribute the negative because we're subtracting. I have x plus 2 minus 2x, and then what? 
minus 6, does everybody see where he got minus 6? Over x plus 3. What should I do next? Yeah, and what do I get if I combine my like terms? I have x minus 2x. Those are like terms. So how many x's do I have? Negative x. And then I have 2 minus 6, and that's negative 4 over x plus 3, right? The common denominator. Is there anything else you would want to do to simplify this? You could factor out the negative. I like the fact that you keep it factored, x plus 4 over x plus 3. Nothing else is going to reduce. You could factor out the negative or not. I think it looks a little nicer when you do. So, And just know that WebWork will want to have the negative in the numerator now. Okay, should we just, we're on a roll. Should we just do these two? Yeah, we might as well. Okay, what do you think you want to do here to find the LCD? And I might need extra paper because these are looking like they might be long. So I'm going to just get some extra paper out just in case. Maybe I am. They're all written on. Okay, what other, what's the LCD? Anyone, any ideas? X minus 1 and actually squared. I heard you say x minus 1, x plus 1, but that would have to be x squared minus 1. That would have to be a difference of two squares to factor out. Um, this one is a, what do we call this one? Do you know? Yes, PST, perfect square trinomial. So we have 7 over x minus 1 and then minus 3. I'll put the minus 3 plus negative 3. Another thing you can do whenever you have subtract, you can make this plus negative. You can give the negative to the numerator. And then this is factors to x minus 1 squared. So what do I have to do in order to have a common denominator? Do they already have a common denominator? Couldn't I just, should I just proceed like this? No. Yes, this one needs an x minus 1 over x minus 1. So we end up with 7 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 squared plus negative 3 over x minus 1 squared. What should we do next? Should I cancel? Should I reduce? Combine like terms. We, we, we can't reduce here because we need that common denominator. I needed that. I can't get rid of it. Okay, I need that. So I have the same denominator. I can add the numerators. The only way I can add the numerators, though, is if I go ahead and distribute that. So I have 7x minus 7. You could write plus negative 3 or minus 3, same thing, over x minus 1 squared. Now, again, I ran out of space, so I'll just go ahead and continue it this way. That's 7x minus 10, right? Is that right? Over x minus 1 squared. Can you factor the numerator? No. Can you reduce anything? Can you cancel anything? No. Okay. All right, and let's just do this last one since we're right here and it's right here. Okay, any thoughts on what you should do first to find the LCD? Remember, we're looking for LCD first. They look kind of similar, right? I might factor this denominator. So this would factor to what? 4x plus 4. And what does this one factor to? x. So it's, they only have a common factor of x x plus 4, right? So notice that the first one has an extra 4. The second one has an extra x. They have an x plus 4 in common. So the LCD would be what? 4x times x plus 4, right? And you can write this as x plus 2 over 4x plus 4 minus 2 over, I'll put the plus in between, 
x, oops, x times x plus 4. So I just wrote it out factored so that you can see what, what one is missing. So what is this one missing that it needs from the LCD? It needs an x. So we're going to multiply this one by x over x, and I keep writing over the top of my equal sign. What are we going to multiply this one by? 4 over 4. And here we get, I'm going to distribute the x, so I get x squared plus 2x. I'm multiplying the 4 there, so I get minus 8. And it's going to be the same denominator, so 4 x times x plus 4, right? I just wrote the denominator once because I essentially I combined it into 1. You kind of see how I did that? I was just trying to save a little bit of space. Okay, what would be the next step now? Now that we've added the numerators, there's no like terms to combine. So what are you thinking you want to do to see if you can reduce? What should we do to reduce? We should factor, right? So here, we want to factor, and our factors would be, yes, is it um, plus 4 minus 2 all over 4x times x plus 4? And you love it when there's a match because that means you can cancel. So we're going to cancel the match, leaving x cannot equal what number? negative 4, okay? And I didn't write it because I ran out of space, but this right here is our answer because those two cancel. You have x minus 2 over 4x. Can you reduce that any further? Can you cancel these x's or the 4 and the 2? No, because of the subtraction in between, we're, that's not factored then, right? It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, reduce because, of the, because there's no, no way to continue to factor the x minus 2. Okay, any other questions?